Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Split Fiction is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck overload in screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first step is all about, in order to fix the issue, we need to start with a simple restart. So to do a restart, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now go over here in the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So most of us might be launching the Steam in the background or try to launch the game from the Steam, which even causing the issue up. So before that, just go over here, right click and crop, crop go to the properties, go to the installer file and make sure where the game is installed. Over here, as you can see, it is installed on G. So we have two methods. One, we can close the Steam from here and you can just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC and navigate to the installation folder. Steam library, Steam apps, common. Scroll down and navigate to split fiction. Now from here, go to split folder, go to the binaries, win64. Now from here, you can launch the application, which is .exe. Instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching it from here. This even helped many users as well. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to run the game as administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game in the compatibility mode, hence within the installation folder, we can do it from here itself. Go over here in the .exe, right click, go to show more options, properties, compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7, go for apply. Set this to Windows 8, go for apply. Next one, we need to click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once it is done, just close this and we have to try moving to the next step. Next step is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So to delete the saved game file, go over here in the file explorer. Go to documents, get into my games folder. So if you find the folder here for the split fiction, make sure that you have to delete the respective one. So you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it is fine, it has been many users, so you can try this out as well. Move to the next step is all about, we need to allow the game to window security. So to do this, just go over here, search for the control panel, click over here, and we need to go over here into the Windows Defender Firewall. Go forward here to allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Go over here and scroll down and fish not whether the split fiction is already added or not. Most probably, in some cases, the game will be added by default. So over here, the split fiction is added and you have to make sure whether they have put a check on both the boxes, private and public. So if you don't find the game here, we need to add it by default. So we need to add it by manually. So to add, just click on change setting, allow another app, browse, navigate to the installation folder, go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, scroll down and navigate to the game folder, get into the .exe. Over here, you can see, just go back, binaries, So this one binary is win64 and this go for open and add it i'm getting the error because it's already added that is why i'm getting the error once it is added what we need to do is close this and we have to move to the next step next step we need to unplug all the usb devices so if you're already connected with any multiple monitors or any external joysticks which even cools the issue up so make sure one thing just unplug everything once everything is unplugged you have to try launch the game and you have to check. Next one, we need to perform a clean boot on the installation folder. So just go over here, search for system configuration over here, click on this one. And what we need to do is go to services, go for disable or hide all Microsoft services, go for apply, go for OK. They're gonna ask you for restart, do the restart, and I'm going to skip this part, but the users for watching this, we need to go for the restart. Next step is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay and we have to type these commands in the launch option. So to do this, just go over here, open the game. Now from here, first go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. Make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game is actually turned on. That is one of the reason why we end up in having the question issue. So we need to uncheck this or we need to turn this off and try launch the game. Still, if it's not working, we have to give commands in the launch option. So the first command is BX11. That's what we have to try. If BX11 is not working, 
we have to start with B extral. If B extral is not working, we have to start with D3, B2. So these are the steps. Either we have to start with B X11, B X12 or B3, B2. So if these things are not working, just remove everything and you can move to the next step parallel. Next step is all about what we need to do. Is just go over here, but need to close all the overlay and overclocking application, which is a very important step. So to do this, just go over here at the start, right click, go to the task manager. And right now we can see that a lot of things running in the back now. And all these things are actually utilizing the performance. And that is why whenever we launch these kind of games, we end up in having the crashing issue. So just go over here. And if you find anything like a Discord, a Diva Tuner, Epic Games Launcher, MSA Afterburner and all those things, all these things can be removed from here. And once these things are removed, we just need to close this and we have to go back and try to launch the game. Next one, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So to do this, just go over here, search for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one. And right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk G, Steam library, Steam apps, comment, scroll down and navigate to the split fiction, go to the engine, content, now this one, binaries, now this one, go back, split, binaries, Win64, select this one and add it. Now it is added. Now we have to click on the option. Now it is by default, let Windows decide, change this to high performance. And it will be running on NVIDIA Geoforce GTX 1650 Super and go for save. Now we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one, we need to increase the VRAM. So to do this, just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced tab, go for settings advance it once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select where the game is installed that is g now we need to go to the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size three times the total ram so we need a calculator so just go over here search for the calculator now we need to type the ram so type 16 gb is what we need to type that is the ram multiplied with 1024 that is a constant value multiplied with 1.5 because initial is always 1.5 times the total RAM. Now we need to go to the maximum size, that is 16 GB, multiplied with 1024, and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 14,052, and we have to paste it. Now go for OK, and every value is being given, and once afterwards, we have to check. Make sure the most important steps in this video, that is we need to update the graphics card, as well as we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So to do this, what we need to do is, we just need to go back over here in the link and we need to go to the NVIDIA official over here, which I'll be providing in the description. So if you're on the NVIDIA first, go over here, select the Geoforce. So if you're on the Geoforce, select Geoforce. If you're on the, any other, you can select it accordingly. Now go over here, Geoforce RTX 15 series. Now go to Geoforce NVIDIA RTX over here. Now we need to go to the Windows level and go for find. Right now, what we need to do is, we just need to go over here and what we need to do is go over here and if the based on it configuration, based on the latest release to oceans, you can select it and go for the view. Now we'll be getting a page like this. Now from here, you have to download this particular version. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the graphics, go to the Arduino RX 5000 series, 7000 over here and you have to go to the submit. Based on your PC's configuration, you have to select. What I have take randomly selected for the AMD, but the users, you have to select accordingly. If you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, download this one. If you're, if you're on Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, download this one. If you're on Windows 7 with 64-bit edition, download this one. Afterwards, try downloading and installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So keep scrolling down over here and we can go to the x64 download this one and if the system is based on x86 we can download this one we can also try go over here we can also try next few important step that is verify the game file and we need to uninstall and reinstall the key so that's very important so go over here to the steam and first go over here right click go to the manage and uninstall the game and you can reinstall it back while reinstalling it back you should not be installing it back on the g because right now the game is on g you have to try either f or c that's what we have to try and the verify game file is just go over here right click go to the properties installer file and just click on the verify game file 
which will be cross-checking every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so it is going to take a lot of time so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to make you guys wait i'll be i'll be making this fast into two times and i'll be skipping this one by one so once this is done most probably you can try a restart on your system and you can go back to the steam once again and you can launch that is going to work for you in most cases and i hope this quick video is helpful. free so this is in the process because of the verify game file is going through so you don't have to worry this will take a lot of time because the game is around 19 gb so i'm gonna skip this part once it is done we'll be getting a prompt message like saying that you know all of the files are successfully validated which means you're fine and you can try logic the key so these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.